by uh, Adnan's proof. Uh, this is it is contained in two aspects in, uh, in uh, Turner's philosophy, uh, finance, physical geometry. This is assumed that there is such another observer. This 
is also in controversy. Uh, the most uh, uh, subtle uh, assumption is, the, uh, is this. The principle that there are no privileged observers. If it is a case that, I, uh, that all, uh, only the things uh, that stand in a certain relation are to me now are real, and you now are, are also real, then it is also the case that all and only the things that stand in the relation are to you now, to you now are real. And this is expressed by the, the formula below. Uh, well, is it all? No. Uh, this is uh, all uh, Putnam's uh, assumptions stated explicitly. But there is some implicit assumption, which I have discovered, so to speak. Uh, this is uh, the assumption of um, the concept of noun, in, uh, which is implicit in this three. Because, uh, look, there is no connection uh, between uh, this Roman three, this, between this uh, assumption, and between first assumption. Uh, so, to establish this connection, ah, yes, press, press, okay, well, <laughs> So there is no uh, connection between this and this. Uh, so there must be some implicit connection, and I have found this in, in the form of this uh, assumption. Mm, if I think, uh, I, I use uh, Putnam's uh, terminology, whereas uh, 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 it means uh, events, as yeah, a matter of fact, in, in that means reason. Uh, if a thing exists now, then all and only the things that stand in a certain relation are to it exist now. Mm, yes. Then, one, and N imply. Uh, is you can have one, assumption one, and, and N. And they taken together imply the following expression if some uh, if me now if I now I'm I'm real, then all and only things that uh, stand in uh, uh, the, the relation R to me are real. Uh, thus, uh, one and one Roman and three Roman here. Uh, first, this, this is the first uh, uh, conclusion, and this is the second. So, uh, uh, connected by uh, in, uh, by con conjunction uh, of, uh, uh, so, so. then then uh, this means that uh, all and only things uh, that uh, uh, are in this relation uh, to me now are real and the second uh, uh, if you uh, now are real, then uh, all and all only things that uh, stand in the relation uh, are to you now are also are real. This is absolutely harmless with in the framework of non-relativistic physics, which are uh, this is the natural uh, the, the most natural uh, interpretation uh, is absol absolute simultaneity. Uh, because absolute uh, simultaneity uh, is um, uh, 
there is always some uh, event uh, that uh, uh, now, but for any uh, event that is not necessarily simultaneous with me now, there is another event which is somebody's uh, now, uh, such that those two relations of simultaneity uh, hot. And this is again this diagram. Uh, if the prime is simultaneous, that's it. You're, you now is simultaneous with me now in my frame, but x this time on z. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, uh, change the, the notation. Is here. So, if this is real, then uh, when we use the the, uh, uh, the lemma two star, we get that the, the e prime is also real. And again, if e prime is real, then using once again, this, this lemma, we get that Z is also real, so Z from my future is already re real, just like me now. What does it mean? Whole space time is real. This is just an expression of so-called eternalism in contradistinction to, to present this. That is, it means that uh, if we express uh, the man on the streets uh, view by uh, assumption 2, then uh, on the basis of uh, special relativity, we get the conclusion that all uh, as, uh, all uh, events in the whole space time are as real as me now, as I am now. In particular, uh, uh, my whole life is real, future including. This is just once again this diagram. For any uh, point uh, in my future, uh, one can find the so distant and uh, event that is simultaneous with this uh, in somebody's uh, frames, and so it is real, as real as me now. Why? When? But somebody may object that uh, special relativity holds only locally, as a local approximation. So um, this construction uh, will not hold for the uh, sets uh, sufficiently distant from, from uh, Mina. If I, I now am real, then this somebody uh, now is real, and this some other uh, uh, observer is real, and this some other observers <laughs> now is real, and so on. And then, if this is uh, real, then this is real, then this, 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 and so we get this. And this construction is possible for, for uh, any point uh, on the on this uh, work, on, on my work line.
So, in general, Now let me make some observation. Uh, one can prove that the following holds. And so uh, this suggests strengthening uh, uh, three Roman uh, time twice. <laughs> I don't know how to <laughs> how to discuss the moment. How to call this? Uh, yes. Uh, you see that the uh, mm, antecedent is the same, but the consequence is different. It can be proved. Mm. Now, two and prime, one and Different in like the following crystal theorem, which uh, now uh, uh, in special relativity to hold that uh, if fact one, uh, if fact two holds, then this holds a fortiori. Uh, Yes, and then uh, even this weaker fact, uh, this weaker formula, results in uh, this theorem E, which is the statement of eternal. Well, somebody might object that why we concentrate on uh, on uh, simultaneity rather than on another relation. There are some um, attempts to, to block uh, uh, Putnam's proof by choosing another relation. Uh, so let us try. But no, 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 there is no natural choice of R not satisfying by the point uh, to start, just to, to try. Neither symmetry nor transitivity nor reflexivity is required. For instance, it is satisfied by both by the relation absolutely area. If I will absolutely area, then this uh, dependence of, of this last uh, of this last argument is uh, in, in such a case. case is uh, vacuous, and this relation does not depend on this character. Uh, uh, and topological simultaneity that is uh, being absolutely elsewhere. The relation of being absolutely el elsewhere. Outside the light cone. Now, uh, let me state back this one. In general, <laughs> in relativity, uh, it holds that this, uh, uh, it holds this. Uh, well, uh, let us compare this with fact three. It is similar, but uh, instead of um, uh, of this single relation, there is some alternative. 
measure of reality or is there a different version of reality? Or has this only one reality? Or I, I don't know. So, so there please. is only one reality. This is uh, my view and Postman's view too. Mm -hmm. This is just absolute reality. There is no somebody's reality. If uh, something is somebody's reality, then this, this, this because uh, this reality must also be real in this sense. If it's not, then this is, there is not a, uh, his reality and so on. Okay. Yeah. Two quick questions, Keith. What, what happens to these arguments if you substitute for reality, actuality, whereby actuality, I mean, oh, yes. the result of measurement? Uh, I, I think this is... Well, ask me just a second. I'm not so sure. Uh, I think the question they're both trying to ask, what they're trying to sum up, is there an external reality which we experience and describe with science, or is reality only our experience, the internal? Which is, is reality external or internal? Uh, that has nothing to do with uh, experience. The experience has uh, something to do about knowing about reality. It is on the epistemological re level, not on ontological. Partners uh, uh, proof operates on ontological level. Mm -hmm. How the things are, not how the, uh, we know about it. Well, thank you very much. Very interesting.